Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Eric. Eric. And we are back with Superman and Lois, where last time we had what could have been the finale yeah. of a season. I could have said that a couple times this season. Yeah. <laughs> it ended pretty pretty well, and Edge is in jail with weird glowy eyes. And, and maybe all the consciousness of the Codex? No, Eradicator. Krypton? Yeah. <laughs> like basically yes. what's the left of it, right? Um, no, yeah, we had the... Uh, uh, John, uh, what, Steel? We had him there. John Henry Irons. Fighting with, fighting against Superman, yep. and then joining together to fight against Edge, which is really fun. It was fantastic. Really Absolutely good. loved it. Um, yeah, they, uh, they're now back all on the farm. There is no, uh, mental trickery happening mm. anymore. Though, yes, he has absorbed all of those things. We don't know yeah. what that means. Uh, also, in Take Smallville in general, just the, uh, the Lana family has been going through some hardship with uh, Yes, but with their family show. seems closer than they've been since we started the show. Yeah. Which is nice. And But Diggle left, and that's sad. And that's the thing. Since the start of the show, we never had more of a confirmation that this is, in fact, in the Arrowverse, and that was our poll last week. Diggle! Are you pleased Superman and Lois has been confirmed to take place in the Arrowverse? We had... 79% of people said that they like that it's connected. 21% said I would like it to be on its own. Hmm. So okay. let's see what people were saying. Uh, Christian Boda said, yeah, I'm pretty happy. It'd be weird if it wasn't, considering it's the same actress for Lois and Clark, and it'd be weird to have a show disconnected from everything else because even Stargirl and Titans are technically Arrowverse sh shows. Mm -hmm. Um... I would contend that Stargirl and Titans, I mean, they're Berlanti shows, but I wouldn't call them Arrowverse shows necessarily because now we have so many things taking place. Like, like we, this is confirmed, Earth Prime, as opposed to Titans and sure. Stargirl are different Earths. Whereas before the Arrowverse took place in different Earths, yeah. now our Arrowverse is more so on the same Earth, which allows us to have, like, well, this Earth over here yeah. has the Ezra Miller Flash, which, or this yeah. Earth over here has Stargirl on it. Yeah. And maybe we could cross over with those entities, but this Earth is the Arrowverse. I mean, you can now say anything DC ever is just Arrowverse because yeah. that's how it works. Because of what they did with Crisis and stuff yeah. and how we could make it work with that, which is fun. Uh, Daniel West says, I'm okay with it as long as this quality is maintained throughout the show, not just early seasons, as is the case with other CW shows. Uh, agreed there, yes. Though I would, yeah, I guess CW. Okay. I get what you mean. I was say Supergirl, like I feel like its earlier seasons were its weaker ones, and then it got stronger when it came to CW. Mm -hmm. But it starts off stronger on CW, I guess. Uh, the the one madness says I'd like it to be on its own because I just don't understand how an army of Kryptonians or an army of speedsters just goes unnoticed by the other shows. But I love seeing Dave, David Ramsey in any timeline or in any Earth. Well, you see, while an army of speedsters were busy fighting this city. An army of Kryptonians were busy attacking this town. You don't know if it happened at the exact same time. I mean, we what used, if one was one week and one was the other? We can use Diggle as a comparison as to what has been happening. No. no. <laughs> so Diggle was there, Kryptonian shit going on. Meanwhile, Flash was dealing with this stuff. So we go to Flash and it works. Uh, Dobie Gregg says, I prefer it as its own thing. There are def details that are different, like characters are, uh, details are different, like the fortress. Some characters have been ignored, like Kara, or changed, like Edge has been recast and an alien. Those are interesting things. I mean, I feel like they can literally just, like, get out their broom and be like, crisis, you know, and sweep it under the rug. But I do agree, like, those are weird things of, that have... That have changed. The Edge one, we can do that with, I, th I think. Because mm -hmm. we haven't had Edge since Crisis in Supergirl, I don't believe. Uh, Fortress, though, we have seen on Supergirl since Crisis. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the Fortress here since Crisis. That one's a little different. Yeah. Unless you want to say Crisis created a Fortress for each of them. Yes. I mean, Kara always just used Clarks, right? Yeah, but maybe Crisis yeah. allowed her to have her own. So Edge she, got one. She got the one with his parents. What? Isn't the big statues of... Her, of Kal-El's parents up there? No, I feel like it looks different now. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it. I think. Yeah. Maybe his, he used the back door. Which is just a hole in the side of the Maybe, thing. yeah. He's <laughs> like, well, I'll just use this little one. You can use the rest of it. I don't really yeah. need all that shit anymore. I mean, Edge got one. So and we know for a fact that Kara was, like, supposed to be doing something, but because of COVID, there was no, there was no thing there. So that's not a huge deal. 
Uh, we went with Ryan Love, who said, I stopped watching other CW shows, mostly because I don't really like them. So selfishly, I was hoping they'd keep this separate, so it wouldn't be tainted or pulled down by the other shows. But hey, maybe this can pull other shows up to that level. Sure. Like, I mean, I understand, like, if you're like, you know, I don't know who Diggle is, what, you know, he didn't really have any headaches or anything in this one, but no, it, I don't think that would be too intrusive. I if think you didn't know if it's other C- CW stuff. Other than like, who yeah. the hell's Oliver? Yeah, or whatever. He just showed up and talked about some yeah. stuff. I think his headache stuff. This is beforehand, so not a big deal with that. Yeah. And uh, no, yeah, I think that if you have shows where you're like, oh well, look at Superman, look at Star Girl, like look at these other shows and like what they're doing. Yeah. Let's do that with these ones, and then maybe uh, maybe they can do that. And some of that is just like. It doesn't have to be the production side of, like, let's use these cameras and yep. these kind of shots and this and that. More of it can just be, like, let's write and do this. Let's have let's shorten our episodes or let's do this type of stuff with our writing. And people seem to like that better. I always contend when people say, like, well, I mean, all of the other of the shows, like, they're all failing. But this one's here. I'm always, like, I don't feel like Legends fails. I don't know if it can. Sure. Yeah, I think it lost to people early I get on. offended that people put it in that category. Yeah, it can do all kinds of stuff, you know? <laughs> it's just yeah. it's just fun and crazy. But mm-hmm. I think just taking the writing elements that they're using with the, these characters and these storylines, yep. if you took that and tried to implement that into all the other CW shows, yep. I think they would all do much better. Absolutely. And you don't have Absolutely to have, like, agree. amazing effect things. You don't have to have amazing camera work stuff that's like, yep. this feels like a movie versus a TV show. Yep. You can keep the TV show. Just change the way the writing stuff goes. Agreed. Let's see how the writing goes this episode. You want to go play our guest is probably hungry. Guest. A guest. John? Is John still here? I'm not quite sure why people have been singling you out, but I am going to change the narrative. Make sure that they put the blame where it should be. Just give me some time. Well, I feel like that mayor's going to screw him over. Uh, we've never seen him before, right? Uh, we've seen him once. I don't trust him. I recognize him somewhere. He's probably jerking that show. Today's gonna be weird, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Let's yeah, see. no, I. Hmm? I it's that one girl that they just stay away be from. Pretty much anywhere uh, but here. Oh yeah. Hey. Don't trust her. Save my life, save the world. As far as we're concerned, you eat free here the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Detecting a Kryptonian anomile. Where? She's headed for the DoD. Sinking with all functions now. And so he's like, bam, he's yeah. gone, and he's like, fucking ah. Yeah. DOD, why she at the DOD? ETA, impact in five seconds. She got a new outfit too. Yeah. Four, Black one with three, two, one. Uh-huh. Intercepted. Oh! Nice job. <laughs> it's over. They're gonna be best friends. But we have oh, <laughs> man. You hanging out with anyone or? Nope. No one. Cool. I got a bad feeling. I don't know why. I think I know. You just. Yeah. You just yeah. remember what you were like in high school and how bad you would fuck this up. <clears throat> nah. Me, maybe. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you missed more days this year than any other kid in school. Both of them I left. The Didn't go to the assembly. They yeah. aren't for fun. Uh-huh. It sucks. But the mayor has our back. We just have to be I patient. Hope. We're not alone in this. <sighs> I've seen that mayor. I cannot just stand around here and do nothing. Mayor. It's a character actor. This will blow over. I guess we'll see about that, huh? How'd you find I'd give us some time, but they are kind of being buttholes. I used to come here with my Willie fan. But look, all, all I'm saying is that it only really takes one person to change your whole life. Just to make you feel safe. And you have John. And you have your family. And you have me. And that's never going away. You should probably kiss me now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That's enough, you two. <laughs> Who are you? Damn it. Get out of here. 
Fucking park rangers. I think it's a mistake. What? We need 7734. That's why you authorized it in the because first place. Because he did feel And then I saw good. how it hurt my right. family. And if something like this should happen again without a plan in place, without a fail-safe, that would be the end. It's crazy to have Superman on that side of it now. Having yeah. having been where he felt like he could have lost control, you know? But at least he, he gets to have a say in that conversation. Oh, was he spraying? Uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was going to be an S. <laughs> I was like, man, he really bonded. Hey, uh, sorry, I just, I just got home and heard voices, so... Always been an athlete, you know, so... Me too. You know, you can be more than one thing. Perhaps you could tell Jonathan a tale from your own upbringing. <laughs> would you please just shut down? <laughs> Jonathan. Which one? Why aren't you in school? This better be about the statement. Not now, Lois. It's important. What's wrong? It's about Clark. I'm worried about him. Wow. Good communication. Hello. Oh, hey, Kia. Arrested? John. For making out? Oh, uh, for skipping school. <laughs> they arrest him for that? You can get arrested for this is cool. Arrested though? A couple times. If he's like skipping around and he has been aware. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. John skip class. What? Go upstairs, <laughs> I will deal with you later. You told my dad to keep 7734? I did. I did. I should have talked to you first. Jonathan, up. <laughs> she doesn't have to look at such a mom thing. <laughs> This isn't about Edge, is it? This is about you. Lois, I almost killed John Irons. But you didn't. Yeah, but what if I had? I mean, who would have been next? I swore to protect the people of this planet. So far, I've done a decent job. But what if I was to be tricked or corrupted? That will never happen. Except that it just did. <sighs> Good arguments. Not enough to skip school. Even the Batman this one has to go get arrested. <laughs> they're both acting out. We'll give them a punishment. Maybe they're trespassing or something. Well, it's about the other thing. What? I lied to Chrissy today to protect our family. I broke my sacred role as a journalist. We both play fast and lose with journalistic integrity from time to time. When it comes to keeping your secret. <laughs> Lois, will you please no, just listen? There's nothing you can say that I want to hear. And now I'm angry and I feel sorry for yelling at you, but I also have to stay angry so that I can scare the hell out of Jordan. So why don't you just stay <laughs> here and let's just both take a moment. It feels to like make such a mom thing. These are the... After I bail our son out of jail. I have to stay angry so I can get our son out of jail. Usually in a show like this, like these arguments can be like, oh man, what am I doing this? But this is great. Like it just makes sense. It's funny. It feels real. There's no right answer. I mean, I, I get, I love it. I get both of them. Just because she let you two go with a warning doesn't mean it didn't happen. Mom, don't I talk yet. Say, the Cushings are the real problem here. Honestly, Chef, I was suspicious Mayor. of Morgan Edge from day one. But you know, Kyle, he just—we're the real victims here. Yet who knows what kind of perks they got from Lana's special little job? Kneecap. Zero perks. Just like you lied when you said you were going to help us. Why don't you and I go talk somewhere else? No, nope. You no, said no. you were going to set the record straight. You're doing what's best for you at the expense of my family. And for that, shame on you. Give me one of these, too. You know? What? <laughs> Doesn't make her look better. <laughs> it makes me feel better. Have you ever noticed how punchable the mayor's face is? Yeah, I have. <laughs> We need to we talk, talk about... about... You first. But when Zod took over, for the first time, I felt what it was like to let go. To really let go. Clark, those were Zod's emotions, not yours. I know, but I felt it. But it felt good. It felt really, really good. That feeling worries me. The world needs a way to stop me. I don't think that will ever happen. Lois. But on the off chance I'm wrong, and if this will make you feel better, then fine. No way <laughs> in hell I'm trusting the DOD with this. So who do we trust? John. Then we just have to find someone. John can. Henry. You want to run that by me again? <laughs> yeah. I know. It's a lot to ask. You want me? 
came here to protect this world from me. That's what I'm asking you to do. I fucking said good. <laughs> So good. I hope that I can earn back your trust. What is going on with Edge? Really? Now listen to me. I don't need to do this your way, father. You are going to ruin the resurrection. I'm not. I'm just not going to die to do it. My way is the only way. So is this going back to the way it was going to be? He has to die to do it, whatever that is. Because the father said last time, he was like, he was like, all right, I'll do it your way, kind of thing, right? To... Your way is the only way. Yeah, they're going back to it, okay. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? You can't just skip school. I don't care if you're mooning over Sarah Cushing or coming home to build robots with John Henry. <laughs> <laughs> mooning? It's worship. It's a worship. It's a worship. I get it. How long ago did this start? Uh oh. A couple minutes, sir. Send in a team to check it out. No. What is going on? Is he gonna blow up? He blew up. Maybe it's the presence of all those Kryptonians or just supercharged him. But at the expense of his identity? Maybe. He's way more machine like. Good man. Oh. Help! Edge. <laughs> Edge. <laughs> Look at that shot. Oh, that's so good. The hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? Back to the desert. No. no. The to sun. the sun? Oh no! He's just absorbing it all, Aaron. Oh, fuck. You had one mission. Become the eradicator. Or know that you are the sole reason Krypton was lost. Damn, man. Fuck. Hmm. The eradicator. Become the eradicator. I don't know what exactly that means. I mean, an eradicator, it would make more sense like the eradicator was made to give him power to destroy the earth. Because eradicating, I, I imagine someone yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what he did before wasn't eradicating yeah. in my mind. Agreed. Unless it's made to create him into an eradicator. That's why it was called the eradicator, because it made him the eradicator. I think the eradicator is the name of one of the, the four of Superman that replaced Superman when he dies. I think it's actually a character. I just never thought of it. Never, look it up real quick. Never heard of it. Because, like, John Henry Irons. Sure. But Steel, he's one of them. Yeah. Superboy, there's a robot one. I wonder if he's the robot one. Or, no, there's Cyborg Superman, and then I think there might be the Eradicator. I'm imagining a guy with, like, a visor over his eyes that looks like Superman. Maybe it'll be in the Q&As if that's a thing. You figured that that would have been brought up at some point, mentioning something called an eradicator if there was a superhero Maybe. called eradicator yeah you know but i don't know dude I, I really like this show just like so much stuff that they do with the writing and the characters just really fit well with it seeming i don't know like more realistic like too too often it might be unfair that we watch this right after flash Maybe, sure. <laughs> but also, like, it might be unfair to The Flash if we watch this right before. Maybe, you know? maybe. Um, we won't have that next week because Flash is done now. True. So we'll see what happens. Um, but no, just... I the, My favorite part is usually my least favorite part in other shows, which is, like, well, we have to create drama, let's have our characters argue. The way the characters argue in this show, even the kids, but especially Lois and Clark, like, it's, I, like people use the term relationship goals for when people are getting along. I use term relationship goals whenever they're disagreeing with each other. Sure. Like it's so mature. And it's it like like there's no correct answer and they have to come to the answer together, not separate, you know? It's sure. not about convincing the other person. It's about being pissed off and letting you yourself feel that and then moving on trying to find a solution. I love that. It's the best thing about the show. Also the kids are awesome, which is also the, another thing in most shows around my kids. You know? Sure. No, I mean I like 
the, the element there where they're arguing and stuff, and she's like, I feel bad for yelling at you, but now I gotta stay angry because I gotta go pick up Jordan, who's been arrested. Because <laughs> it's such yeah, a mom like, thing. I, I really like that. But also, their whole argument, like, I totally understand what she means. It's like, well, yeah. if you leave this stuff here, it's a danger to you if other people get a hold of it, you know? Because it's, it, it's what makes Lois strong. She does not doubt Clark ever. Sure. Doesn't doubt it, but, Clau- but Clark doubts himself, and he can't invalidate either of those opinions. Sure, and like, who would know Clark better than himself? Yeah. Like, his his telling of like, the 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 fear he has yeah. now of how good it felt to let go and just release Absolutely. all of his stuff and not be controlling yeah. his power and holding it back. And he already made that point to uh, to Jordan earlier in the season when he's like, I have to do that every day. Sure. I have to resist that. And we had that time whenever, like, he tried to save Tag, and those guys came in, they shot him with Kryptonite bullets. He's like, oh. Yeah. You know? And just is looking uh, at him like, well, it's easy for him to resist that because he's that, he's that good of a person. But people aren't just good or bad. It's, it's, they're a collection of choices they have to make. And sure. it doesn't make that choice easier. It's because he made it all the time. And it, and it takes that one time of, like, something to tempt him or push him or, or chase a dragon to that, get you know? him to that point. Yeah. Where, like, now who can stop him? Nobody. Because yep. we've gotten rid of the only things that could stop him. Yeah. And that's the... Th- it, it's boring if Superman isn't tempted to use his power. Sure. That's why people find him boring as a character. Well, he's he, a goody two-shoes boy scout that never... One, can't be beaten, and two, you know... But in this show, like, it feels earned that he is the boy scout. And he can be beaten because he literally gave the keys to John Henry... Uh, Iron, who was the like, came here to kill him, sure, and now doesn't want to. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that he did. He's like, wait, you want me to be the only person that has the stuff to kill you? Yeah, He's like, yeah. I but, mean, yeah, it was kind of like a, you know, off my mind automatically he was a Batman. He gave him the Kryptonite ring, but this one fits their written story so well. Where they're I don't at, even yeah. Care that I it's like not it. a consideration. But yeah, no, I, I have I've had similar problems with Superman, where like the reasons I wasn't a big fan of like different things was that well, the only things that is a threat to Superman is well he has to uh, protect people he cares about because he's invincible but they're not yeah or he has to in which he could just go around the world and fix it if I guess yeah apparently you know, yeah, when it does do that um, or like well everyone has this rare mineral called kryptonite just right. everyone has it yeah. so that you can use it to hurt him and now there's drama because you're using kryptonite but I love the idea of like it, it's it's a battle for him and he's allowing that to stay there, which mm-hmm. can also cause more complications of kryptonite being more prominent because yeah. the DOD has it and it and it's true. Like a lot of times when there's weapons out there, it goes to places that shouldn't have it. Yeah. So like that what Lois is worried about also makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it just it does a good job of like he has the doubt now. Yeah. Because we had him before in Supergirl where he's like, you know, it was the uh what was it, the DOE, right? Is that what it was? What's it called? The Department of Extraterrestrial something the DEO yeah, DEO the e, DEO um, where like they had had kryptonite and he was upset that they had some and Supergirl's dealt with the same thing mm-hmm. where she's upset that they have any yeah. but that doubt that well maybe they should have it because what if something happens to me and I'm not the best person as good as I am protecting this world but you don't know who's going to be the next general that has control sure. or who, what politician owns that general or what villain is going to threaten that general's family, you know? Sure. So putting it in someone that's going to be, like, who's the person I'm going to trust that's going to be able to take care of themselves and make this decision now that they know me, which I loved. I loved the little bro moment yeah. in the woods. Good shot. You know? Because, like, John Henry Irons, everything about him wants to hate this guy, and he can't, he just can't because Superman's too Superman. It's been such a great moment, and it culminating in that he should be the one that holds the keys to yeah. 7734 or whatever it is. Well, they even utilized, I think it was General Lane, right? It was like Lana's sister or something like that mm-hmm. in Supergirl, where like General yeah. Lane was a problem and still was yeah. more of like what I feel like General Lane has been in other iterations, where mm-hmm. he's like more so against Superman and not for him, whereas this one, sure. they really mess with that dynamic of he's, you know, he's married my daughter, so I understand but I also got a fear so Jonathan's got yeah. to shoot him or John has John Irons has to shoot him and stuff but then it's you have in the same thing here where yeah. it's calling Lois because I'm worried about Clark because I told him I was going to get rid of Kryptonite right? and he told me I should keep how him. refreshing is it when characters learn things new like new things and then they 
speak to people that that information is relevant to, you know? Sure. You don't see that in television. <laughs> Not usually. Like, I feel like typically you would have that in general lane and be like, oh, well, guess I was right. Yeah. I'll keep this stuff, you know, and not tell Lois. And then yeah. it's a problem it's, later on. And it's so great, too, because General Lane probably up to this point would have loved to hear Clark say this. Yeah, exactly. But now that he just said, I will never doubt you again, he's like, damn it. And, you know, it's the same thing with John Henry Irons. He wanted to have this, but now he doesn't want it. And Lois... I just love that Lane like calls her and be like, "Hey, something's wrong with Clark," and he knows the person to call. And it's yeah. not like I'm gonna go fix this. He's like, I'm gonna go to the real hero of this world, Lois Lane. Sure. She's gonna fix it. And I, I I love the line where Clark is like, "I'm just asking you. You you came to this world to protect it from me. Yeah. I'm just asking you to do that." Like I really like that line of like, "I'm I need someone to be prepared and keep everything safe," and having someone like him who's in charge of it. That can be the way, too, of getting around the General Lane thing. Like, say yeah. General Lane moves down, steps down, demoted, whatever, and a new General Killed. takes place. Yeah. If you have Irons in charge of it, maybe that can circumvent those issues of having that. However, how long does Clark Kent live versus how long anyone else lives? I don't know. But, no, I mean, it's a good thing to worry about because, like, all those things can also harm her family. Yeah. You know, her son, who's also Kryptonian. Maybe Jonathan at some point, you know. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. know if, if Kryptonite has any effect on Jonathan at all. Like he doesn't have power, so he doesn't get weakened. But does it do anything to him, or can it hurt him in other ways? Sure, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. Like he's got to be part Kryptonian somehow. He has in his DNA. Unless the fact that they're twins somehow, the Kryptonian side all went to Jordan and not Jonathan or something this weird. I don't know how that Arnold works. Danny DeVito. What do you mean? Okay. Could be. <laughs> They also did a good job in this episode kind of showing the way the town is all worried. Everyone's wanting information. Like, they showed it a few ways. They're showing, like, the most frustratingly true part of human nature. Yeah. Which is that, like, it's it's really difficult to find personal accountability. Yeah. And it's easier to blame the other. Responsibility for, like, yeah. well, I did this. Yep. You know, we had it last episode with uh, Emily Fon, fan, uh, the, the, the one lady who also was mind-controlled yep. and turning it into a Kryptonian mm -hmm. or whatever where she blamed Kyle it's like well you also wanted this yeah. and like you sure like you got put into this pile and I think Lana didn't push Emily and then Edge chose Emily and then she accepted it because it sounded good yeah. and he just tricked her you know they're literally a scapegoat there are you know the ancient Jew Jewish tradition of like all of your sins go to this goat we kill the goat and now that it, you know that's or the lamb, I should say. That's why, you know, like Christ was the lamb of God to take all of our sins. Yeah. You know? But they don't want to, in this situation, they don't want to be held accountable, you know? They were at those rallies, too. Just because one person was louder doesn't mean you weren't on that side. No. And fuck that mayor. Yeah. Well, I got to look up the actor because I, uh, I swear I've seen him. I'm definitely hoping that having, if Lois can speak more against Edge and for, like, Kyle and stuff, I feel like... In the route they're going, if the idea is that Kyle did this, it's his fault because he was pushing for Edge. Having Lois being like, it's not Kyle's fault, it's Edge's, Edge's fault because of this and this. Yeah. Because she was as outspoken against Edge as Kyle was for Edge. Yeah. It just, I don't know. It's crazy too, even Kyle's like, the guy that he saved, who was going through rehab and stuff, and he pulled him out of a fire. Like... That guy's even against him. Yeah. Because they're like, well, Edge's freaks did this. And it's like, well, Kyle didn't. Like, he wouldn't want to burn down your city. You've How long have you worked with him? How long have you known him? He's just wanting to do what's best for the city, and that's what he thought it was. And Edge tricked everybody, except for Lois. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. Listen to that woman. But can't tell anything. That's got to be so frustrating. It does. Uh, I'm curious what the newspaper is going to be. Yeah, what they say. Yeah. I hope it helps with Kyle and Lana and them. Because also Sarah, like the idea there where she's like, I'm leaving here because I don't want to just be here while yeah. everyone's bullying me and talking about me. and Garbage whatever, people. Blaming me for something that I didn't do, my dad did, and he didn't even do it. I know. <laughs> so the mayor's actor is Eric Keenly side. I'm trying to look up, like he was in the new Godzilla. He was in the original Smallville. <laughs> was he? That's nice. But anyway, I've seen that actor in a bunch of things, but uh, yeah, he, 
you just get the feeling of like this guy, the politician, he's gonna fuck someone over. Sure. Yeah. No, I, I didn't. I felt like there was something bad gonna happen. I just didn't know what it was gonna be exactly. But I'm glad Lana just got to chew him out. I just wish it was sure. in front of more people. In front of more people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were already kind of off in the in the back talking like they yeah. were. Yeah, I was at first confused. I'm like, why do these police care that these kids are kissing on this this bridge? But it is they're trespassing at Atlas Pond. But no, uh, I had a friend who, to be fair, their parents were uh, charged with not forcing their kid to go to school. See, I've heard of that. But I've also had there's also been kids have been put on probation for it too. Well, like going like juvenile detention, that kind of stuff, or something. Is that yeah, what you mean? Something like that. Because like. It's just, like, the whole thing, like, they've been arrested. I'm like, arrested? Like, well, like, I've seen a video. I, I watched this YouTube channel called Audit the Audit, which is these uh, this guy that, like, reviews police encounters and stuff. Sure. And there's at one point, there's these two guys that they weren't high schoolers, but the guy, like, the title of the video is, like, arrested for looking too young because the police officer said, like, you guys look too young, you're loitering, you should be in school, and he was going to arrest them for some code that, like, because they were skipping school, they would have been arrestable. Hmm. So that's the only thing. I, it just went through my head as it was happening, but I don't think that, that's probably like some type of like weird Delaware law, you know, as opposed hmm. to Kansas, where wherever they are. Yeah, no, I get you. No, I mean, I I, I know that they've. I, I I don't know what the ruling is for arresting and stuff when it's like an underage person. Cause I think they they can put them in holding to get their parents. Like, hey, we got your kid, or we take the kid to the sure to the parents like that. Unless there's like a bigger thing in which case like usually then it goes in more of like a a juvenile center and stuff like that because I don't think they usually keep them in like jail because that's where they have adults also I mean they they even said here why they let them off with a warning but like when you're when you trespass like in most states you have to have posted signs everywhere and if people haven't seen your sign then you say hey I want you off my property if they then leave or if they don't leave after you say that or they've seen a sign, then they're trespassing. But if they didn't see a sign and no one told them, then technically they shouldn't have been arrested for it. Sure. I mean, but, unfortunately, that, like, you know, when we're out on our farm, people would just come out onto the land with a four-wheeler or something. That's why we had to have the signs everywhere. So you can say, you clearly went by this very marked sign, you know? Because if not, they'll just be like, well, get out of here. And then they leave and they don't get in trouble. But like I said too, like it easily could have been, well, this is the Cushing kid. Sure. We're gonna arrest them or sure. something or another. Yeah, I get you. Uh, do we wanna jump into some Q and A's uh, and yeah. catch up on some of the other uh, stuff that happened in the episode? Uh, we're gonna start with Shelton Winchell who says, it's crazy how the town is treating Kyle uh, as if he's the only one who was rooting for Edge and the only one who had powers. Like half the town had powers and was rooting for Edge, LOL. Uh, yeah, I mean, completely agree. I like that with all the injustice happening, Lois seems to be the most to understand that, like, people suck. And sure. that's just how it happens, you know? And no. it, you just don't want to be the person that gets blamed. But there's like, it's like almost as if like, there's nothing you can do. But I'm hoping that maybe the piece that comes out in the paper helps. That's the only thing I think of is that the paper, this, the Gazette, will as- assist in calming some of it down. Yeah. Uh, Robin says, and now we have to wait until August 10th because of the Olympics. Pain! Yes, there is a, uh, August 10th. A break. I think we two weeks oh, break. Really? So until August 10th. And they have like three more episodes or something? Is that what they're doing? I feel like maybe two more? Hmm. I can't remember. I don't know how many total there are. 15 or 16. Uh, Ross Max says, from that ending, I am clueless what Edge's plan is now. I think, I mean, he mentioned that I, I want to do this in a way where I don't have to die. Mm-hmm. I think Edge might be gone. Like, yeah. you know, I I, whatever this amalgamation of Kryptonian consciousness has formed, it's no longer Morgan Edge. Yeah, like that was his thing. He was trying to reach his brother so that he didn't have to die and could go through all this. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what exactly the plan is overall. Uh, Ashwell says, The quality of the show amazes me from the directors, writers, CG team, how Lois is written like a real mother, and the last five minutes was incredible. The shot of Edge hovering out of his cage and then bathing in the sun. Also, did Edge do a real solar flare? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he... I don't know what his powers were when he broke out of there. Yeah. And then he just went there and just absorbed 
the son. I thought he was gonna be in it. But yeah, he was just. He was I mean, just is he that. gonna be like you know Superman Prime or whatever who did like go into the middle of the sun and that's the most powerful version of Superman? You know. Yeah. Um, what is it if you could put like consciousnesses into Kryptonite X infused bodies? What's it going to be when you have an actual Kryptonian with all of those consciousnesses absorbing power? Is he going to be even more powerful than the normal Kryptonian because yeah. they're all absorbing? Or, I don't know, science, fake science is weird and hard to try to understand. Sure. Yeah, I don't or know. guess. I'm not sure. Also, I don't know if, like, the DOD's Kryptonite weapons will work because the Kryptonite, they increased it and it still he just did his thing. Mm-hmm. But then he still went and absorbed more sunlight, so yeah. I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, Kevin Dam says, "Hey guys, today uh, today's episode was epic. This question is for Eric. Eric, do you remember the four Superman and Superman Reign? Do you think Steel should get an S on his suit? I think we still got a lot of time before he would do something like that. I mean, the the kind of like bromance is a little. It's just starting. I feel like it could get really strong uh, in the future, but." Right now, I can't imagine putting the symbol of the woman or the guy that killed the woman you love yeah. on your suit. It has but to, it was the first thing I thought of. He has to change it and make it feel like yeah. something more. Though, the thing I thought that was the silliest thing I thought about this whole episode was that he had that huge, big thing across the front of his suit. And then when he peeled it off, it was just for this one little <laughs> section right here for the firefly yeah. thing that he did. He just, and he, sure. he peeled it off and got there, and he had to go. But it covered so much. Yeah. You could like a lot of stencils are just like that big. But I guess you got to protect your whole suit from getting sprayed or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. KB says, if you don't know who Eradicator is, Loretta Craters from Death of Superman art is usually a robot that's programmed to do whatever it takes to either save Krypton or protect the last Kryptonian. And the Eradicator has the ability to absorb energy. So this is the Eradicator from that. And he has, like, goggles. Maybe, like, because he was kind of, like, burning his eyes. Maybe he'll, like, get, like, goggles next time or something. I like and it'll glasses. look more like Eradicator. So, yeah, I guess they're turning this character into more of uh, one of those, uh, those other Supermen. Hmm. I just fucking finally learned Tal Ro. Uh, Dip says, did you guys ever skip class? Any fun stories? I skipped class uh, May 19th, 2005. Yeah. Yep, because that was the day that like almost our entire graduating class skipped school and went to stay in line for Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And we stood there for 11 hours. Sounds fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know if I ever did. I'm trying to remember, and I can't think of a time. See, the when thing I about did. us skipping school is, it's like, all right, we're gonna leave, you know. But like, unless you have a car, you ain't going fucking nowhere. Yeah. School's in the middle of the woods, you yeah. know. There's nothing to go do. Yeah. It, it really wasn't. And then, when I was younger, no. If I skipped school, it was like with my parents who were going somewhere else, and I wasn't going to school or something, yeah. you know. And then when I got older, it wasn't until probably my junior and senior year where I could have, like, sure. just drove somewhere else and not gone to school but yeah. I don't remember anything eventful where I'm like aha I did this yeah I don't remember I generally had a good time in school like every class I usually like, had a friend in there and stuff so never really had a desire to skip school unless it was for something important i.e. Star Wars were there a lot of people in lines that you were lucky you guys got there in time before the swarm it was literally just us oh, okay. but like 20 people showed up and then like every hour more people would show up until like a half hour before when like like like, like literally the, the like real my graduating sh- class is only like you know I don't know 50 people 60 people but there was 20 30 of us that were there and my English teacher came too uh, Grant Smith says after this episode do you think that the Cushings will move out of Smallville it seems like the logical choice but that mean the whole family won't be a part of the show anymore. That's three main cast members just gone. I think that the newspaper will be things that change it. Mm. I think. Also, whatever going on with Edge, you might not be able to hide anything. You might have to come forward with a lot more information yeah. of Edge being a Kryptonian and whatever else. 
especially with this eradicator thing. People might be like, hey, is that Edge? Like, no, no, it's someone else. Don't look. Mm -hmm. But he's got goggles. <laughs> you can't tell who he is. Uh, Logan Britton says, would you guys ever want to see the show do Connor Kent? I think it would be interesting after more time with the show to see John and Jordan basically get a new brother while Lois and Clark deal with basically having another kid. So for those that don't know, Connor Kent is like a clone of Superman that can be kind of sometimes portrayed as his son. Sure. Um, as of right now, I don't want to see it just because I haven't felt the need to shake anything up. You know? Sure. I'm not done enjoying the characters now. Crypto. Just get a dog. I don't need to be a superpower. No, Crypto! Okay. We'll bring that in. <laughs> Jordan and Crypto can go into some adventures. I don't know how they're on a farm and don't have, like, seven dogs already. I guess. Honestly. Yeah. Just for security. I don't see any animals. Yeah. At all. What the any, any animals? They should have some animals. Get some chickens. At Most least. farms have at least animals, right? Yeah. Like, they're not just, like... I mean, there are. I don't even know what farming There are like grain farms and, and stuff like that, but you almost always have, like, you have goats to help clear out certain, you know, yeah, or chickens. areas. You have chickens. Just so, you know, if you eggies. have space, get some chickens. Get some man. eggies. But 100%, you get dogs because dogs will just alert. It's the best thing to have whenever someone's out there trying to steal something. You hear a dog, you usually go away. And that's what we had golden retrievers, too. Who, Is that what you had? Is like when you were doing shady shit, like you heard a dog, you ran? That's I have, yeah. Yeah. It's the best security system for thousands of years. Get a dog. Even Obi will bark. He won't do like once you break in, he'll be like, I love you. Welcome to our home. Take anything you want. But like if you hear something like Arr. my owner's in there. He can't hear. <laughs> yeah, he can't hear on this side. Attack him that way. I love you. You're my best friend. Rub my belly. <laughs> Oliver McCall, do you think that we'll see Jonathan become some sort of tech based vigilante with everything he was saying about the suit this episode? I feel like they're building towards it. I did like what they were saying it's about, like, suit. yeah, I, I like that. Like, Ooh. making robots. Like, it's a war suit. <laughs> but uh, the whole thing about, like, I'm, I, I don't know what I am. I'm an athlete. It's like, I was too. But you can be more than one thing. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. I wonder if they're, wonder what they're pushing him towards then. Because yeah. I'm interested to see what Jonathan does, considering Jordan has powers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Lewis says, uh, with an understanding of how Tao Ra was treated by his father and how much he suffered through his life, do you think there's any redemption for him in the future if he is purged of the Eradicator? I'd personally love to see that. Adam Rayner is fantastic. Uh, the actor is very, very good. Um, I personally kind of feel like he might just be gone and all that's left is the Eradicator. Yeah, I could see that. But they also gave a little bit where like he's arguing with his father and stuff yeah. being like no, he's my brother and you lied to me yeah. and like he felt yeah, like sad. against his father for like this is my blood <laughs> so but also he was like I'll talk to him he'll understand we'll create Krypton together it's like yeah. well it, you're almost there <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's kind of like what Edge was saying I mean Ed wasn't necessarily incorrect when he was like look you are this way because you were taken in by simple farmers he's He's using that, like, you know, as an insult, but, like, the reason Clark is this way, yeah. for all intents and purposes, is because of Jonathan and Martha Kent. Sure. You know, it's if like they're what? not there, then, you know, I'm not the same person without my parents. Your children aren't the same person people they're going to be without you. Sure. You know, and that's a huge responsibility. It's like what Clark said about, like, I can control my powers because my dad taught me to control my powers, so yeah. I've been controlling them for 40 years and I've grown up. But had he not had that and not learned control... Yeah. And was with someone else entirely like his dad, yeah. Edge's dad. Like, what would that exactly. have done differently? And it's why part of the show, like, it's so important to show Clark just being a present father for his kids. I loved when he was like, you disrespected your teachers and the work they put in. Like, only fucking Superman, you know, is like, you know, you're, I, I just love that angle he came at. Because, like, there's no fighting it. There's no, like... Well, you know, people are making fun of me, or, you know, I just need to go do this. It's like, no, you're disrespecting people that don't get paid enough. Unless it was the teacher who's been like, look at that little yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck that teacher then. <laughs> Give me one of these. <laughs> All right, and we're going to end with uh, the Seth Relax. He said, what the actual fuck? You know what the biggest problem with this show is? I got to wait weeks for the next one. <laughs> it's true. It truly is. Waiting, it's the worst part of the show. Waiting is awful. But it's also good because I think it gives you more time than binging. Where uh, I feel like you kind of connect with characters more so and you have more time with them. So even when there's like a death, yep. you feel it more rather than just like in one day I binged eight episodes 
this death in episode six, True. I, it didn't really matter. But oh, that sucked, huh? Yeah, yeah, it sucked. Versus like six weeks in, and you're like fucking crying or something. I, I don't know if it's the case. Like I know that like Flash and some of the other CW shows have already announced their dates for when they come back, and that's gonna be pretty quick. Is that the same with Superman and Lois? I haven't heard <sighs> for what they're doing with it, so I don't know. Ah, give me a poll. All right, guys, poll for this week. We're going to be talking about Morgan Edge slash Tauro slash the Eradicator. Do you think there's anything left of Tauro, the person, the, the person that strived for this and seen Clark and wanted to reach out to him all those years ago and didn't? Is there anything left, or is he purely the Eradicator and uh, almost, for better, a better term, just a robot now? Yeah. So, like, by the time we end with this, like... Can we remove that and get back that person? Yeah. Or is it we have to defeat it and that person will be gone? Mm -hmm. Like, is there any saving him? Hmm. I feel like with him putting off doing the real plan for so long, like, I would want the consequence of I will die to be real. So I'm going to say there's nothing left of him. Sure. I get that. Though, like, with Superman and stuff and different things, sometimes you get, like, impossible stuff happening and hope and... You, maybe you can do something more with that, but... Well, my world it means hope. He doesn't like to kill people, so maybe there's a chance that we could maybe get back yeah. the Dalro Edge thing and remove the Eradicator somehow. And you just have a brother. Yeah, it'd be weird, different, maybe interesting. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Superman and Lois. We love this show. We can't wait to watch more. Unfortunately, we have to. Mm. But you don't have to wait to watch more Blind Wave videos. Hit the subscribe button. New videos out every single day. Let us fill that hole of yours that is Superman and Lois with other stuff, Aaron. Oh. Don't go so dirty. That immediately.